Yo, it's your boy Reaper Wolf, and today I thought I would do something a little different and give everybody a clip of some gameplay of me using a shark to kill Gunner. With me today is my boy homie, Painted Viper. What's up, y'all? How you doing? Also with me today is Mrs. Wolf. Say hi yeah. to the lovely Mrs. Wolf, everybody. Um, but I invited my homie... Painted Viper, who was watching my gameplay when I was doing this clip, and I just wanted his thoughts and opinions on what he thought of my craziness. Yeah. Go ahead, Painted. All no, right, Viper. So, tell me what you think? Okay, so first off, uh, hi guys. Uh, I'm sure that you've watched my channel before, but you haven't watched his channel before. Uh, I can honestly say, go check his fucking channel out. If you are already not subbed, you should be subbed to the son of a bitch for real. At any rate, I don't know what the fuck this dude was thinking. My channel's but, Cooking with the Wolf, but I do do other videos, such as homage videos to the lovely Mrs. Wolf for congratulations on various different things that she has done. Sorry right. about that, man. Yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good. That was actually important. But at any rate, um, so for all of you guys that don't know who he is, again, this is Reaper Wolf. The motherfucker that's nutty enough not to building the game unless it's really needed. Which okay? is true. Now, a lot of you sweats, you like to you like to build, right? I'm, I'm sure you do cranking 90s, 180s, phasing through builds and shit. And I'm sure like Chad over here on the phone can actually honestly agree with that. Uh, ain't that right, Chad? Hell yeah. Well, at any rate, so what this guy does here is he, he decides to uh, he decides to go fishing, you know, kind of handle his uh, fishing milestone, you know what I'm saying? Because and I'm working on also trying to build up gold because I was working on uh, Feed Clombo, which is not the most of easiest tasks. Especially with players liking to push yet. Exactly, because you really can't land anywhere safely, grab up some clomberries, or enough to do that challenge without having somebody come up and push or sweat on you. Now, we're not going to give out that location because on some seriousness, it's a pretty decent location. And, and there are quite a few different locations, but they're the location that's OP prime. Spot. The prime location, as he said, is There is an OP very spot, prime. but you guys have to be like mindful of that, uh, of, of that spot. So, um, at any rate, as you guys can notice, he takes a shark, okay? Now, he has wasn't a planning on that at first. I was actually fishing. But once I caught shark, I was like, ah, you know what? Screw now, it, it was an epic shark, too. So you were bringing loot with you into that cavern. Yes. And which as was you smart. saw, as you saw, all the loot that I did pull up from fishing, he said, Fuck except it. some floppers, I left it. There was a blue Ranger AR, rare level. I left it and kept my uncommon heavy shotgun, uncommon sniper, and a. Now, Very common fishing pole. Now, do keep in mind, Epic Games... I should have taken a lot of damage by this when I was getting thrown around. Now, like, like I said, do keep in mind, Epic Games, okay? Sharks are aquatic, not fucking ground, okay? They should not be allowed to go on land, but... At if they, all. But if they do go on land, yeah, they, they die. Back towards water. Yes, I did do that all right, as you can as you guys can see though, uh, he he's he's feeding his pet shark. He's going inside covert cavern, and attempting to find Gunner with this said shark. Cause I got the ingenious idea to attempt something that no other professional player, such as Cipher, Ninja, Muse Elk, Muse Elk uh, McCreamy, TG, even some of the amateur guys that are streamers, such as. My homie painted Viper. I'm not even nutty enough to do this. And I have I, yet now to I'm come up with it. Like... I've not seen anybody else do it, so I thought I would attempt to do it. And the whole time I'm in here ram ram ramp rampaging with this shark, I got at least three or four of the IO guards shooting at me, including Gunner, which was kind of funny, hilarious, because they could not kill me. I know Mrs. Reaper Wolf over here was fucking laughing her ass off watching him rage as he tries to control this fucking shark. Definitely. But Gunner is not even really paying attention to me. He's focusing on the shark. 
which was for all the, you know, Fortniteers out there, very good distraction. Oh yeah, definitely. To easily get that card. Now, mind you, I do have an IO guard off to my side blasting me with some no. type of gun. You know what would have made this better, honestly? What? I mean, I'm you, sure you, there's... You know that Gambit bow staff you have in your hand? Oh, yeah. If okay. I would have beat him with it. No. Now, mind you, I am almost if... dead, but I did pull out the you notice, health. You notice Gunner is, like, he's he, he's focusing said shark, right? Yeah, I could have beat on him okay. with the staff. You could have you could have legit swam up to him and went, Bad Gunner! Bad Gunner! Beat him with stick. And that would have made it probably ten times more hilariously funny because he's getting yeeted around like a rag doll. And being beat on with a stick. But I had to beat him with this this. And the funny thing is, I am taking damage, but I have not yet died. I should have. Oh my god, really? The, the, the normal Spongebob? And then I blast him with a sniper rifle in the head for 172. Knocked right, him. Caught that him. was a good shot, by the way. Made him, you know, couldn't hit this IO guard at first because he wanted to play Jumping Bean. And you played Land... Uh, and you played Land Snake. And I just said, ah, uh, you know what? Heck with you. I'm gonna charge you with my stick. I beat you with stick. I could have beat him with stick, but I decided just to get some ammo and then turn him into my target and hit him for 150 hit and then shoot him again. Then I had this both butt. of these fuckers into fish chow. Then I had this dum dum trying to think he murked me with a blue pump. I don't know why you didn't pick up the med kit, by the way. I, I should have. That shit was right in front of the G. I thought I did because I do have one. Yeah. Swims over the covert cavern card, which, which he I wanted I, in the first place. He which I he thought I it. had, but I didn't realize I didn't have an open I, spot. I reminded him about said card, and he went to go grab said card. He's this like, is about where I... He was like, wait, fuck, he's right. Turned around, went and got back card. And I'll mind you at the time, Storm is getting closer and closer to coming in. It's about, about 47 seconds ready to come in. And at this time, there's about... 18 or 19 other players left in game. Here, key card lied to me. Told me to go through door and then through wall. So I start beating on wall. Wall gives me unbreakable. I said, heck with this. Gathered up a few more resources. Should have took those stairs. stairs, but map confused me by telling me to go back this way. I'm like, wait a minute. Got to find a way around. Ran in here to grab some ammo because at the time I did see a player on a zip line coming in. And then at the time, Viper said, go around, go up the stairs. So he goes around, goes up the stairs, runs straight through to the vault. Now, remember remember how I said he doesn't Don't build, build unless I have to. Look, look at his material count right now. He's got 10 wood, 17 brick, okay? And about 5 he, metal. He opens up the vault, okay? And as he opens up the vault, he decides to open up... I think I'm going to do something just as a preemptive strike because I knew that... People, some people like to push that. Some people like to push it heavy. So I thought, I'll just throw wood floor up. Yes, it was wood, but it would give me enough time to, say, get, say, better loot than what I had. Oh, yeah. Heal up some and get out of dodge. And if I had to make a quick exit, there's the porta potty. Instead of trying to fight my way out. Giggity. Okay, so... Um, At this time, Storm is heavily approaching. One tick, I believe. Yeah, it's a one tick turning into a two tick. In about a minute. When I grab this vault here... Don't know why he didn't grab that fucking ammo box over there. I the do two of them there. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't either, but... Should have, but you didn't. I should have, as soon as I got done hitting that med kit and opening that safe... Should have opened up the loot drops right there next to me, but I didn't think of it at the time. I was more or less trying to be mindful of storm. Mindful of my storm, keep an eye on my health. Part of the reason why I used that med kit, even though I really didn't need it, was to open up a spot for better item. Now, such as that SMG, 
Now, there is another thing that we want to talk about, too, as uh, as the game's going as well, because we're just going to have them, you know, have you, you know, just witness you getting out of Storm in the first place. Um, the Gathering of the Juggalos. Yes. It's coming up in August, August 3rd to the August 6th, okay, of this year. It's the Gathering of the Dreams. If you guys have never been there, but you have seen my channel and, you know, witnessed all the, like, the small little clips and everything. Those aren't my clips. Those are my homies' clips that they were all sent to me, posted on my YouTube channel. That way they can have a voice. As I said before, on my channel, everybody has a voice. Everybody has a way. But um, just one moment. By the time I came out of the vault, out of the porta potty thank you, by the, way. the storm hits a two-tick. I was going to look for a spot to pop my launch pad that I did pick up. I believe I picked it up in one of the I.O. chests in the vault. Uh, it was actually one of the loot drops. But I decided after Viper pointed out what you know that there's the big old air vent, I decided to loot up a few more ammo and then take off. Um, okay, so back you to would, what we were talking about? You were talking about the Gathering of the Juggalos. Okay, so... At um, that gathering, I'm going to try to make it. Obviously, he's definitely going to want to go because, you know... I do want to go. Mrs. Wolf over here wants to go. But if I do manage to go, I am going to be doing my show called Cooking with the Wolf. I did not see the person in that bush that I ran through. And I realized they were there at some point after I was getting shot at. But when I turn around, there's nobody there. So that kind of... What's one of the cool things about what I said about the gathering earlier? About how they're going to allow people to host their own shows and stuff like that? Yeah, that was what you were reading. Um, and so, like I said, I'm going to be doing my show. Try to use the various items that other juggalos and juggalettes bring. I'm going to even try to see if some of the vendors... Boom. That will allow me to, say, make my show, you know, help them make their little vending cart popular. Pretty much. And I'm also going to tease uh, some of the head, you know, Juggalos, Keegan, and Shaggy Tudo. Expect it. We coming for you, homies. Because, you know, my boy Viper over here did a little thing with Keegan that Keegan did to Bean Dip. Uh, Shaggy Tudo called what I like to call the Bean Dip. For those of you who don't know the Bean Dip, it's Bean Dip. Ooh. <laughs> but I got one coming for you. What I got coming for y'all is a little thing called my balls itch. Show. But I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to be like, hey, Viper, do your balls itch? Oh, yeah. Because you know why? Mine oh. sure itch. Let me scratch them. That's my balls itch. For those of you that don't know, the ball's itch. This is very orgasmic, by the way. By the way, that that, <laughs> pro, that player that I blasted with a shotgun uh, ran pretty much right into me, and I just rotor rooted their bunghole. Oh, yeah. Real awesome. I, I just shot some flaming arrows and grenades at another player that was on the hill just to say, don't mess with me. You rotor rooted this motherfucker hard. Coming across the river, there was a guy that decided he was going to hide in the bush and shoot at me. He couldn't shoot worth really crap. Point. 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 But I blasted him about two, three times with that shotgun. And he then put a shotgun bullet in his bunghole and fucking gaped it. The next the next player that I run into was ATF Asterix. I, uh, yeah, ATF Asterix with shout outs to... ITF. ITF Asterix, my bad. ITF Asterix, sorry about that. Um, but shout outs to him. He, you know, he actually Best did team. me better because I blasted him a few times with my shotgun. The Reaper Wolves gameplay was pretty decent against him. I mean, we're shooting at each other. He did pull the grenade launcher before him. At the time, we kind of had the same idea of shooting each other with a grenade, but he had his out before me, so I did send him a friend's request. Hopefully he accepts it so I can commend the man, you know, say good gameplay. And maybe he could teach me a few things to help me better myself. And if there's something I could teach him, you know, there might just, you never know, there might be. All right. But so, shout outs to him as well. All right, so we're going to call it here. All right, guys, so if you guys ended up liking the video, please like, like and subscribe. subscribe to this motherfucker right here. Turn on post notifications. Reaper Wolf again, everybody. And, uh, and we will catch you on the flip side. Uh... Thanks for being on my show, my, my man. And uh, as always, everybody, stay lit. Stay lit, motherfuckers. Hi!
Peace out, motherfuckers. Whoop, whoop, you juggle us, juggle us. <laughs>